10 years ago, this area would have been a buzz with activities and contractors getting everything ready for 17,000 athletes and their teams to come and stay here for the games. But what's happened to the area since then? What's the ongoing Olympic legacy? And has it really improved the community here? and it even has its own postcode, E20. There are over 3,000 new homes here as a result of the Olympics, with more than 2,000 yet to be built. What is it like actually living here? I'm a good person to speak about this because I moved into the area at the end of 2014. First things first, if you want to visit the East Village, you need to know how to get here. There's plenty of transport locally with Stratford Station, Stratford International High Speed and DLR. East Village is quite simply now just a greener place to live. From energy efficient technologies to water recycling and an emphasis on nurturing the natural environment, this is an area that has been built for the future. It may look like a concrete jungle from this angle, but we're actually spoiled when it comes to green areas. We have Victory Park here, the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, Victoria Park just over in Hackney, and of course, the Hackney Marshes. What's also really cool about living here is that the area is entirely pet friendly. There are so many dogs around here, which is fantastic. But if you don't like dogs, maybe bear that in mind if you're thinking about the area. part of the East Village, you can really see the independent stops. For instance, Signorelli is down here. They regularly have live music like they do now. It's a fantastic way for the community to really get together. And that is something you really feel in this area, is that the community are involved. I can say from personal experience that it is great living here. There is such a community atmosphere and the facilities are truly fantastic. However, the development of this area has not been without its controversies. But the overall consensus is that this area has added strongly to the community, particularly via the addition of the community centre, locally referred to as The Hall. This is a space where groups can come together, including the girl guides, the board games group, the choir, the knitting club, you name it. There's really a group here for you in East Village, which in London is quite rare in itself. This is called retail therapy and it is entirely plastic free. Here you can go in and bring your own containers and fill up on basic necessities. It was my friend's birthday party and I got to hire the hall and gave her a really fantastic evening. Also, the cake was baked locally at Signorelli's, which is just next door. So it is great to feel like you're supporting small businesses and the community in general here. and giving back to the environment is really important here and it's fantastic to live in an area that really cares. Take this area which is known as the wetlands which was specifically designed to encourage endangered species to flourish. It's wonderful to come here in springtime because you can see baby swans and geese enjoying life. They're going to be rented out by Get Living very soon and the interesting about them is if you have a particular favourite colour 
the apartments are colour coded. So for instance, if you love red, you can request to live in the red apartment. Now, those are new blocks that the athletes did not live in. But what's nice about the ones they did live in, which are the existing, slightly smaller ones here, is that when you go in, there is a plaque telling you which countries and their teams in the Olympics stay there. I have lived in five buildings here in the East Village, so I've definitely had my share of countries. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out I'm not going to lie to you One of the best things about living here As well as the biodiversity and great amenities Is having Westfield Literally on your doorstep I mean it's not the best for my bank balance I'll be honest but it's great because anything that you need, at the drop of a hat, you can get it. Also, there are lots of hotels in the area if you have family visiting. So, me being Irish, my family come over and visit me, and there are great hotels. For instance, this hotel here is called The Stratford, and it even has its own spa inside. transformed since the Olympics. The only thing really the same is the National Aquatic Centre or the London Aquatic Centre which is right there. Anyone can go in and use that pool. You can have membership options but also a day rate and it's really cool to use the 50 metre pool and know that that's where so many medals were won here. Also you've got the stadium which is now owned by West Ham United. This whole area is now called London International Water. Many, many businesses, including the BBC, the V&A. It's a huge development that is going to see so much investment. Here we have what was a staple of the Olympics 10 years ago, the Orbit, which has actually been turned into a Helter Skelter. So if you fancy taking the plunge, you can go and book this. around here is for the University of London and they're building a brand new state-of-the-art research centre. It is great to think that you're living around an area that is in the centre of such technology and innovation. So I'm going to finish this video at the London Stadium. I cannot believe that it was 10 years ago, almost, that the opening ceremony happened here. I don't know where you were for that, but I remember being at the edge of my seat, just so enamored by the splendor of it all. And here is the iconic Olympic bell. I can honestly say that living in the Olympic Village, the East Village Olympic Park, is a wonderful experience. You have the mix of innovation and technology and the environment. There's so much going on, not to mention the fantastic connections into London. So if you want to check it out, then just come for a visit. It's been such a pleasure showing you round. Why not subscribe and join me again? <laughs>